Hi, it's me again with Corel Drill Tips and Tricks, and I just made a video on how to make a dotted or dashed line around a object. And while that video was loading, I thought I'd kind of play around with the clone tool. I love the clone tool. I use it all the time. So we've got our object. If you haven't watched the first video how to get that, you need to watch it. Go to Edit and Clone, and we've cloned that. Now we're going to rotate that. Put it to the center. Double check it. And a lot of times if you don't hit run on that X, Corel will. So we're going to rotate this 20 degrees. Control D. And then 40 degrees. And what this does, and I'll show you in just a second. So we've got this dotted line. But if you look right here, this is a control curve on layer 1, where this is a clone curve. So what you can do with this, and it's really pretty cool, is to change this dotted line and make it thicker. Uh, you can make it look funny. And it's going to change all your dotted lines because you're changing the clone. And it's I, I like playing with the clone tool. I mean, you can make shapes like that and see how it's a little bit broken off right there just take that node and delete it just hit that node and delete it and it deletes all the nodes so you can make patterns like that or do whatever you want to with it and it's still a clone so you can still change things anyway play around with the clone tool help hope that helped a little bit thank you for watching